HIMB, or the Hawaii Institute of Marine Biology, is a research facility located on Mokuoloe, otherwise known as Coconut Island, which is in the middle of Kaneohe Bay. So this unique location really gives researchers on the island um, a very special opportunity to conduct research with um, incredible access to field work and sampling. And so we have labs here that are focused on pretty much all areas of marine science, everything from marine microbes to marine mammals. Hi, my name is Mariko Quinn, and I am currently an undergraduate researcher at the Hoyt Institute of Marine Biology, otherwise known as HIMB. So I was actually born and raised right on the water um, on Kaneohe Bay, and I went to Castle High School, and I'm currently a sophomore at UH Manoa, majoring in Global Environmental Science. A lot of the work that I've done is very directly related to the climate crisis. Currently, I, in the Hagedorn Lab, we're working on a project to be able to cryopreserve the symbionts of corals. The cryopreservation is really important because it creates a biobank that we can go back to hundreds of years in the future. And so this kind of restoration method is really important to learn more about in Hawaii as we move forward with the climate crisis. Uh, even though we want to prevent the worst, we also have to prepare for it. So in the event of a very um, worst case scenario, such as a hurricane or something that would wipe out large populations of coral, we want to have a backup plan. Aloha, my name is Sienna Crea Garcia, and at the Hawaii Institute of Marine Biology, I am a post undergrad educator and researcher. I am currently working with the education program known as REMS, or Research Experience in Marine Science, under the direction of Dr. Malia Rivera. My work specifically um, with this program is really educating students, educating the future about different aspects of marine science, and a lot of it have to, has to do with climate change. Um, Looking at the different modules we do, we really try to expose our students to anthropogenic stressors or human-caused stressors that are happening in our marine environment and showing them the direct effects that our human actions are causing on these marine species. And being in Hawaii, a lot of students are like really passionate about the ocean and they want to save it. And a lot of times we just don't know how because we don't have those resources to be educated. So REMS and HIMB is a really great resource for these local students to get out and learn and hopefully take it home to their parents and teaching their families. I think one of the biggest things that uh, younger people can do is educating themselves on their own impact on the climate and how they're influencing uh, climate emissions, or carbon emissions and things like that. Um, but another big thing is voting. Voting for people as soon as they can uh, voting for representatives that will push for renewable energy and clean energy and lowering emissions and things like that. Personally, I feel like being able to have an impact on students in order to make that change in Hawaii and on the globe for climate change, it's really empowering. Um, I first wanted to be a scientist doing hands-on research in the lab, but after working with students, I've really seen the impact that instructors are able to have on students to also feel empowered to make a difference in the world. I definitely have future plans for uh, climate activism. I'm actually a minor in political science at UH. Um, I think that really like we have the solutions for climate change. People have done the research, we know what needs to be done, um, but what needs to happen is we need to have people in government that are putting those changes into action.